Good evening, and thank you so much for being here and supporting these wonderful musicians, wonderful students, and all around wonderful human beings. My name is Nolan Howda. I teach here at the University of Dubuque. I teach jazz ensemble, I teach pep band, and I also assist with the wind ensemble. And I can truly and honestly say that today has been a delight, an absolute delight, working with such amazing students. Uh, both Dr. Bashar and I are very fortunate that we get asked to do these types of events for <coughs> conferences or for um, you know, different associations that put together honor bands. And uh, maybe I'm a little biased because now we're hosting one on our own campus, but, uh, but this is definitely the most fun that I've had with one of these events. So I want to thank you, the students. All day long, we've been uh, respectful, attentive. We've had some fun along the way. We've made some jokes. We've had some laughs. No tears, I think. No tears. <laughs> and uh, and what, a, what a thrill to, to make pe beautiful music with, uh, with wonderful people. So uh, the first piece of music, uh, Chasing Sunlight by Kate Nishimura, a, a young Canadian composer who's, who's on the rise, becoming very successful as a composer, and, uh, and what fun to, to play music. Uh, uh, music like that, music that's so uplifting and, and so uh, just so effervescent, effervescent. Uh, and so next we have Solasanya by a more established composer, Samuel Hazel. He's been composing for a while, and, uh, and we had some conversations with band students about some of his music. Uh, many of the students have played other pieces of his. So uh, without further ado, Solasanya by Samuel Hazel.
Well, good evening. I'm so glad that you're all here. And first of all, all of these students have done such an amazing job. They just got here around 7.30 in the morning and got their registration done. We started with rehearsals at 8.30. We are here from over 20 different high schools, so they are not necessarily sitting next to somebody that they knew before today, which is also very exciting. So there's a lot of a, a huge learning curve with that. And then they're working with myself, I'm Dr. Bashard, or Cassie, and Dr. Hauta, who they just met today as well. And I think they've really risen to the challenge. We did not give them easy music, and they did a really great job. Can we give them another round of applause? <laughs> and then beyond that, it's not just today, but Clearly, the music education that they're receiving at their high schools is just superior. So could all of the directors please stand so we could tell them thank you for all the hard work they do with their students? It's just been great. Thank you so much for sharing your students with us today. We've had a great time. And this year has been <clears throat> full of excitement at UD. And hopefully Dr. Hout is coming out here soon. Uh, but this event in particular has been our pride and joy. We both are new here this year, it's our first year. And we wanted to start off our time here with creating a, a great event like this. And I think we have shown that it is a wonderful event. And we're so excited and we are so proud of all the hard work of every single student on this stage. But tonight, we want to take a moment to recognize five of these students who are seniors right now in high school. They apply to the University of Dubuque and have been awarded music scholarships. And, and all they have to do to keep this music scholarship here is just to continue to participate in band here at UD. And in the flute sections, we'll just have them come up. And if you could hold your applause till after all five are up here, that'd be great. In the flute section, we have Jenna Benzing and Rachel Klein. And then in the clarinet section, we have Taylor Woods. And in the horn section, Alexandria Primu. I'm, I'm sorry if I said that wrong, parents. And then percussion, Josh Hussman. You can go ahead and give them a round of applause. I have to say, first to our admissions department, they helped us put this whole event on. They're the reason we're able to offer everything for free to our students today. And uh, if anybody's here from admissions, Bob or Tim or anyone, they could stand. Oh, they're there. Hi, Bob. Thank you so much for all of your work. Uh, could we give them a round of applause? They really helped a lot. Uh, Dr. Ward, I don't know if he's here, but uh, when we proposed this idea to him, he didn't think we were crazy. Instead, he thought it was a great idea. So thank you, Dr. Ward, for always supporting the band program here at University of Dubuque. And um, thank you. Um, I think that's probably enough thank yous for tonight. If I forgot anybody, I apologize, but I thank you for all of your hard work. Parents, oh, I almost forgot you. You've listened to them play since day one. God bless you. Um, just keep pushing them, right? Don't let them drop out. It's really great that they're still here and they're still working hard. And every college, doesn't matter where they choose to go. I know you're here right now, that doesn't matter. Wherever you choose to go, band is always an option. There's usually a non-music major band. Make them keep doing band, because just like when they're a freshman in high school, when they're a freshman at college, they're looking for their people, right? and their people are in band. So send them and make sure that they do band in, in college. All right, that's enough for tonight. Again, thank you so much. We're gonna end with Amparita Roca.